Hey guys, this is an update on the old Mighty M pressure washer I bought about a month ago. I made an earlier video on it when I first brought it home, and this is just a follow-up to it. Um, I went through it, uh, rebuilt the carburetor, did all the normal essentials that you do on the, getting an old engine running. Again, fuel filter, spark plug, air filter, stuff like that. Uh, I did uh, put a tank cream tank coating kit in it. In it, the tank was pretty rusty before, and I just wanted to do it once and do it right, so I did that. Put a new gas cap on. After the machine proved itself that it was working good, I put a new air filter cover on. The original one was dented up, and I'm kind of picky about cosmetic stuff like that, so that's new. I flushed the the uh, pump a couple different times. I put a new seal on the dipstick cap for that. Also put a new pressure gauge on it. The original one wasn't working. This one's about a half inch bigger too. Uh, the trickiest part has been this, uh, the recoil. So this is an 11 horsepower, 400 cc engine, and I'm guessing this was one of the last engines that Briggs built with a recoil. It's just like nearly overpowering for the recoil. It's just not the recoil. I feel is just not really strong enough for the compression and that this engine has. Uh, I mean it, it definitely works of course but it's it just um, it just kind of feels like it's on the verge of being uh, too overpowered sometimes. Uh, it, the cord is broken twice on me. It, the engine will really kick back on you every once in a while. There's Duke. Uh, so the first time that happened I just that I just found a new recoil on eBay and when I got it the tabs were just slightly slightly too short I mean the size and everything was there's the correct size but the tab, mounting tabs were just slightly slightly too short so it didn't work so what I ended up doing was I took it apart and put the new in internals from that into the old into the original recoil and uh, that worked and then of course the and this is a new cord too that came with the one I bought. That broke again, and so I had to take it apart and re redo that and recoil, rewind the spring and thread the rope and everything. It's now I've gotten kind of good at it, but it's it's not the most fun process. The guy I bought it from said he recommended, or I guess had looked into putting an electric start on it just because it's it because uh, it kicks back and it's it it's really really requires some muscle to pull. Uh, it, but yeah, it's been fun. It's a good machine. I'm glad it worked out. It wasn't a dud. When I first got it, I think the pump was a little tight. It had been sitting a long time. and but I've been used, I've used it for like two or three hours so far and it's now it pulls over easier and, and works good. Put it, bought some uh, new nozzles, got some on eBay and Put, the, put them in the slots there. Just lots of little odds and ends. I think it'll be a good machine. I played with the unloader valve a little bit yesterday with the the settings, adjusted the pressure up and adjusted it down, things like that. It definitely is a fuel hog. It goes through the one and a half gallon tank pretty fast, being such a big engine, but for you know something like this, I, I just like unique stuff, so I don't mind that. It's not like I run a business for pressure washing or anything. Definitely not the one for the average Joe. You know, it's definitely not a first pull Honda start, easy easy start thing. And it it's big too, it takes up some space, but like I said, I wanted an old one. I like old stuff like this, so I thought I'd give it a shot and it was kind of a rewarding project, got it working. Anyway, thanks for checking it out. Have a good day.